I'm in the process of completely remodeling the entire bathroom. And while I was searching for a toilet seat cover to go in there that matches my personality and the theme that I did in the bathroom, um, I kept coming across this toilet seat right here. And I was like, hmm, I think that I could probably DIY that. So that is what I'm doing today. I uh, really hope that you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. So to do this DIY, I had to visit Joann's. I needed to get some one inch foam. Um, I'm pretty sure I got a two pack. This one was 30% off, so I did go with the green one right here. And then I went over to the fabric section and searched around for a little while. I finally found this fabric and I think it's gonna work perfect for this project. So that's what I got. So these are the things that you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need a staple, extra staples just in case, some fabric. Um, the fabric that I picked, I was going to go over the velvet, but I found this fabric and I thought it would be the best because you can wipe it and considering that it's going on the toilet, you definitely want something that you're able to clean. So I think this is a um, faux leather. I found these bigger ones at the Dollar Tree and then I got these from Joann's as well. These do have a flat bottom, but they're not as big as these, so I'm not quite sure which ones I'm going to use yet. I guess we'll see when we get there. Um, you want to get some Velcro strips. I got those from Walmart. A glue gun, extra glue sticks, and then also I have a razor blade and then um, a pair of scissors in case you need those. I just kind of stuck the cardboard under my toilet seat so I could trace the shape of the top part out and then I'm going to measure about an inch to cut it an inch smaller than the top piece so that it kind of sits in this area. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I'm going to cut that out.
So when you do yours, you probably want to do about an inch and a half. I only did about an inch. Um, I'm going to go trim it down just a little bit more and then, you know, take around these edges right here and then I'm going to come put it back on here and see if it's the size that I want. I've done all that and I've trimmed it down and I think it's about the size that I, that I want. On this part right here, I really wish that I would have went ahead and made a line graph on the foam with my ruler because later I do try to eyeball where I want the tuft areas to be and they were not all lined up perfectly so it kind of makes me want to redo it but I haven't. I've left it the way that it is. so. If you don't want to run into that problem and you don't know if you can eyeball it, I would definitely use the ruler to go ahead and draw a line graph on here so you know exactly where they should go.